Hi. So we have the uh, new Pioneer to ride. SP16, yeah. Tell me about it. It's a standalone sequencer and sampler by Pioneer DJ. Well, uh, I think the best thing would be just to show you what's, what's possible with this device. I'll just create a new project. Type in a name. Create it. So it starts with 16 empty samples and empty sample slots. I can browse through the built-in Loop Masters library and pick some samples I like. So I'll just go for regular sounds. Choose a kick drum to start with. A hi-hat. Maybe an open hi-hat. Choose a clap. Um, some percussion sounds. And of course a snare. Rim shot. And a snare. And I'll choose a bass sample. So the browsing goes really fast. Yeah. You just tap, a, uh, just tap and I can browse through the entire library. So now I'm in the regular track mode. Got my different tracks. And I can adjust all the sounds. For example, the percussion. I want to adjust the amp, amp envelope. I just click here. Adjust the release time. The hold time. And adjust the volume. And I can add effects. So for example, I can add a low file. Filter to the lo-fi, make it sound a little bit old school. Want the hi hat? I want a little delay on it. Time the delay in the beat. All right. So let's now use the sequencer down here. I'll shorten the pattern to 16 steps. Now just edit uh, the kick. When the lights flash, it means it's recorded at a different velocity than just the standard 127. I use the repeat function on the side to record the hi-hats. Let's make it 64 steps now and add the open hi-hat. some progression. I can choose to add a uh, send reverb. So I've got different send effects. I'll choose the reverb. It's just the parameters a little. And I can add the reverb to each individual channel. With a reverb to the snare, the hi hat. So you can add effects on the shadow, but also the. You can also use the send effect, yeah, on the master, yeah. You can also use a compressor if you want. 
first model in the Netherlands actually. It's a mono, mono analog synthesizer and you can connect it to the SP16. So let's just pick it as, a, as, a, as an input and we control, can control it with the SP16 if we like. So now it's hooked up. You'll probably hear it too. It's based on the problem 6. 495 presets on board. And you can play in sync with me. Up to the SP16, it can, but when we disconnect it from the MIDI, it should be no problem. Uh, I just have to go into the settings. Uh, so you can trigger the sequencer to MIDI? Yeah, you can trigger it to MIDI. Yeah, that's, yeah, you can use this to trigger the sequencer. Yeah, there's no problem. Now it's just playing its own uh, by its own MIDI clock. <laughs> Let's just uh, do a quick browse to, for the presets to see what's possible. A lot of different sounds. Yeah, it's got the same effect section as the Prophet 6 with some of the effects. You can control most knobs uh, using the value. Uh, you can control most parameters using the value knob. So when we go uh, down, control all different parameters right with this knob. So I can control the chorus rate or the, the on off state of the high pass filter cutoff, oscillator shape. Everything can be done with the value knob. It's a really small synthesizer, so it's really good. And also interesting is the fact it's got a keyboard. And you can actually feel the differences between the keys. So it's not like the Quark Volca series where you just have the touch strip. You can really feel 
Exactly, yeah. And of course you can also use these, these, these notes down here to record your own sequence. And it's four, uh, 64, 64 steps, steps right? up to 64 steps, yeah. And every one of the 495 presets is actually, uh, has actually got a 64 step sequence building. So. But uh, what I'm sure of is that for the price it's, uh, it's a really great synthesizer and it will come with an editor I believe for, for Mac. Uh, I think also for PC, and you can just all presets and all the sequences in a way you like. So yeah, it's a really great um, synthesizer for the price. It's only 549 euros, and it's it syncs perfectly. Right? No, it's even cheaper. <laughs> if you buy it today, <laughs> it's cheaper. Yeah, it uh, it, it uh, syncs perfectly with the SP16. You can control it from the SP16 as a MIDI channel. So yeah, it's really interesting. All right. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. If you have any more questions, visit us at tonecontrol.nl.